Before we talk about what we think the weather will be like this spring, let's take a step back, a big one, and look at why we even have a spring, and seasons for that matter, in the first place. We know that it takes a full year for our lovely blue planet Earth to make its orbit around the Sun. Now I drew the Earth wrong here, straight up and down. The Earth is actually on a tilt of 23.5 degrees. Hold that thought. So when it's on one side of the Sun, the northern hemisphere is angled away from it, while the southern hemisphere is closer towards it. When it's on the other side, the northern hemisphere is angled towards the sun, while the southern hemisphere is away from it. Canada is located in the northern hemisphere, so when it's on one side of the sun angled towards it, we have summer. When the earth is on the other side of the sun, on the same tilt, but with the northern hemisphere angled away, we have winter. The shoulder seasons of fall and spring happen along the way. Got it? Here's another way to explain it. Well, I'm out here in my freezer room because this experiment requires as little light as possible. I've got the door open so you can see me, but you'll just need a flashlight and any size piece of black paper. Now, first you want to put the flashlight straight overhead. And what this is doing is showing you what happens more so in the summer season when we're in the Northern Hemisphere and we have that light from the sun shining directly on us. It's concentrated. You can see a lot of heat in that circle. Now, to mimic what happens in the winter season, you want to put it at an angle. And you can see it's the same flashlight, same amount of light, same density, but it's spread out. And that's why it's much cooler. And so we're getting less of that in the shoulder seasons as well, like spring. But when we put it back overhead, like summer, that's when our vegetables can grow. We have the most heat concentrated on us. It's hot, we can go to the beach and hop in the water.